And I appreciate the opportunity of being here at Sky and trying to convince you that intervention is now mainstream for treatment of DVT. And I need your attention because I want to convince you that my view on treating this DVT is when you take a patient with a leg that looks like this and feels miserable, that's best handled by having an experienced operator open the obstruction and reduce the thrombus burden to relieve their symptoms of this bad disease. And that's going to differ from my esteemed opponent's view who would treat that same leg the same way he treats common vermin to try to exterminate them. And adds to that a little hope. Please, I hope this is going to get better and that I haven't wasted my window of opportunity for treating this disease. Now, before we get into this friendly debate, Raghu, um, let's establish some middle ground. This is not a debate about medical therapy versus intervention alone, but rather early intervention in combination with optimal medical therapy and adjunctive therapy versus therapy. So everything you're saying about medical therapy is right. I just think you should intervene as well. And in so doing, we should make with intervention, medical therapy more effective and reduce the late sequelae of this disease. And treatment choice, like with everything else we do in medicine, has to be individualized. Now, some considerations for proximal DVT intervention. Earlier intervention will relieve symptoms earlier. Pretty easy. And should relieve venous outflow obstruction and reduce the thrombus burden. This should make medical therapy more effective and improve patients' compliance with the compression stockings we're going to ask them to put on their painful swollen legs. Less thrombus is good and will lead to less recurrent events and throm post-thrombotic syndrome. And very importantly, early intervention. It, intervention is best if it's done early. We don't have the time to wait, as we'll see. So in the remaining 10 minutes, I'd look, like to look at some basic premises and then support it with data show you that interventional treatment is safe and effective, look at the current AHA published guidelines, a couple illustrative cases, and introduce the ATTRACT randomized trial. So premise number one, common sense would tell us that having the clot removed would re improve venous function and reduce late events in the post-thrombotic syndrome. But let's look at some evidence. There's plenty of it out there. This is one in the Annals of Internal Medicine, and uh, looking at the residual venous thrombosis as a predictor of late events, and the conclusion was that the residual thrombus that was left predicted a doubling of venous uh, thromboembolism and post-thrombotic syndrome. There's a lot more evidence. This is a, a meta-analysis of 11 randomized trials, and again, it just basically showed that the more clot that's left, the higher your event rate later. Now, we know that catheter-directed thrombolysis is much more effective in removing 